friends today what we are going to do is we are going to draw a snowman okay so let's see the supplies that we need we need watercolor because it's watercolor we need some water we need crayons we need half a paper i also we also need um something to practice drawing i got to take my whiteboard so if you don't have a whiteboard you can also use a scrap paper okay so i have my supplies let me put this paper away oh now let's see how we draw mr snowman or miss snowman okay so we're going to place the paper sideways like this and let's um take up pencil marker whatever it is and we are going to make the letter c okay so it should be start from this corner and finish in this corner i'm going to make a c got that next what i'm going to do is i'm going to make the snowman's eyes so do you want your snowman's eyes to be just like button eyes like this you can draw eyes like that if you want one eye to be closed and he's making it look like he's winking you can have him winking okay let me take another marker this marker is not working well if you want him to be so happy and smiling so the eye both the eyes are closed you can have it that way okay so i'm going to leave it like that now the next thing that we need to draw is um we are going to draw the snowman's nose so the nose i'm going to start with a small line here okay almost in between the eyes a small line like that and then you can make a sideways v like that connecting this line got that it can be even a squiggly v because you guys do you know how um what they use for making usually it is used for making the snowman's nose yes they use a carrot is a carrot nose so the carrot uh, can be you guys have seen a real carrot right i hope so i hope you guys eat your vegetables so the carrots um are not like real like a triangle it can be squiggly also like right some carrots be maybe, maybe like that so we have the nose now let's see how we are going to draw his mouth do you want his your um snowman super happy or just you can add his mouth like this so first thing maybe you can do is you can draw a happy line like that okay and then you can make the lines and then erase of the so draw the line lightly and then you can this fellow has a big smile i think the snowman is super happy to see you guys you can make the mouth this way or if you want to make him super happy you can have his mouth draw like that and like that okay that can be done that way if you want him to be like a small smile this way or if you want the uh, snowman like so surprised to see you the surprised eye would be more like this okay surprised eye would be more like that so surprised so the mouth would be like that uh <laughs> so it's up to you how you want uh your snowman eyes and mouth to be okay now that is all that you're drawing you're drawing a close up view of the snowman you just see it's like when you try and take a selfie when your camera is too close to your face do you see anything other than your nose mouth and eyes no so this is maybe somebody took a close up a super close up picture of the snowman that's why you get uh, you get to see only this much okay 
Now I want to make this look like it's the carrot. So I'm going to add lines like one line or two lines to the nose. Now the snowman is, why is he looking up? What is he looking at? The snowman is looking at the stars. He's like, oh, it's nighttime. I see the stars in the sky. So let's see how we draw the stars. So drawing the stars, I'm going to show you a simple way to draw the stars. You just make a X, okay? And then draw a line like that, okay? X and line. So this is the sky. You're just seeing the sky. So the stars are like, all around right it's not like in one corner in the sky so you're going to put the stars all around got it now i think you are ready to draw on the paper so you want to take the paper and let's draw on the paper so you guys remember how to make this snowman oh another thing i didn't tell you is if you want you can make the snowman on this side or you can make the snowman on this side it doesn't matter okay so i'm going to start with a c from this corner to this corner it should not be such a small c it should be a big c can you see i have the c now remember how to draw the eyes you can have the eyes so the eyes are looking up so one is up here one is a little bit down here okay not straight one up one a little bit down now let's draw the nose i'm going to start with this line we have his nose now should he be happy fellows yeah he's a super happy fellow i'm going to make so I'm going to draw a line slightly and then make this dots. Okay. Or remember the other way you can draw the thing. Maybe it should add some more. Is it too much? It's like the teeth. Ah, I think I like the other way. Him smiling with his mouth. Oh, he looks. Hmm. Does this happen to you guys? Like never happy with. Uh, it happens to me when I'm using a, a pencil. That's why I usually don't use a pencil because I will keep erasing, erasing, erasing. Okay, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to add the uh, star. So I'm going. To, I think I can draw the stars straight uh, with the crayon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my crayons because uh, if I draw these things with the pencil first and then draw over it with uh, yellow crayon, it's not going to look that nice. First, before I do all that, I'm going to uh, take a black. Oh, I'm using a Sharpie and you guys are going to use the black crayon. If you have a Sharpie at home, which I think is not that possible because you guys are small, who is going to give you guys a Sharpie? Sharpie, you guys need special license to use a Sharpie, right? Sharpie training, you need to get a Sharpie training. <laughs> so I don't think you'll be using a Sharpie at home. I'm using a Sharpie because my black crayon is like so blunt because I've been using so many times. So this way I can get a pointy line. Okay, so take the black crayon and then outline the snowman wherever we are. So outline this. Okay, let's outline his nose. One thing we forgot is to add those small C shaped lines. Okay, and then I'm going to color his eyes. Should we leave a white dot to show reflection? Maybe. Okay, now let's make his mouth. It's usually made with coal. 
or stones like little pebbles how many of you have made a snowman all of you hmm that is good at least i we can say we made a snowman we drew a snowman right so okay so then um uh, so we are done drawing so uh, we are going to uh, color the nose and the <clears throat> don't erase anything because if you used a um, crayon it is going to smudge okay i'm going to take yellow oh to make the stars so I'm going to make the line in the middle a little bit long. Can you see? It's like shining, shining, shining. So all around, I put the stars. Um, do you want to put some yellow, white stars? Maybe one or two the same way. Okay. Now I'm going to color the nose with orange, orange, because carrots are orange in color, right? Yeah, there are purple carrots also. So I'm going to quickly color this because the charge of a camera is running out, so I need to quickly finish this. Okay, the nose is done. So now all that we need to do is color the background. So how are we coloring the background? We're going to take the watercolor. I'm going to take this. I'm going to make my blue. Or maybe you can use purple also, it doesn't matter. I'm going to use blue anyway. I'm going to put a few drops in blue water and then I'm going to swirl to wake it. I actually was using blue, so it is wet, super wet. Now watch how I'm coloring. I'm holding my brush like I hold my pencil above the metal part. I'm going to go along this uh, snowman's head like that. I'm making a line and then I'm going to fill in. Each time your brush is dry, you dip it in the water and then go back and dip it in the paint can you see water paint and color water paint and color water oh <laughs> or just the paint water paint color so this part again i'm going to go along the snowman make a line snowman's face and then i'm going to color don't let the water pool in an area if there is excess water like spread it out water paint paint water paint what that water paint so the white stars are also looking nice i'm just going to finish this area and don't paint on the wet part. If it is super wet and you're painting again and again on the wet part. Oh, I dropped some paint over here because I was trying to be super fast. Let me turn this around. Okay. Water, paint. So you can also do the same thing. You can turn this around. So this part is on this side and then water and paint is on this side. Okay. We don't want to mess up our snowman. Snowman is actually white right because it is made of sort of snow not a mud man or a sand man so then it would have been some other color right so we are done see so now what i want you guys to do is i want you guys to wash your brush wash it like you are sweeping the floor of the container then wipe the excess water put it in the tray back and then let it dry before you close this i'm going to put this away 
what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to take a picture of your snowman and email me your finished work along with your name, room number and your grades so that I can see how this turned out. Okay, also include your school name. Okay, so till we meet next time. Bye-bye.